Yep. All right. That's good. Thank you so much for coming. For those who don't know me, my name is Nuno Maduro. I am a Laravel Core team member and I am a PHP fan. Okay. So I just got my coffee from downstairs and I'm pretty excited today to show you what I've been working on, which is Laravel Pale. Now, today's goal is pretty much talk about Laravel Pale. The package is not out yet. However, uh, I kind of want to see what you guys think about it and I want to grab feedback from this stream, okay? So this stream is not like showcasing or demo Laravel Pale to you. It's pretty much showing you the current state of the package so you guys can give me feedback, okay? So that's the goal. I'm going to grab a little bit of coffee here. And we are getting started. Now, if you haven't heard what Laravel Pale is on Twitter, it's pretty much a way of tailing or seeing your application logs directly from the terminal. And just to manage a little bit of expectations, um, it's important to understand that this package is not like the regular tail command or anything like the previous tail for a lot of L packages you have seen out there. The main difference of this package is that, first of all, you don't need a physical file to see your logs. Uh, that was important for us because when we were, for example, at Forge or even at Vapor or any of the commercial projects we have at Laravel, we don't have we don't store logs on the physical file. We are using services, our external services such as Sentry or Flare to then see our logs on those platforms. However, because we don't have a physical file, we couldn't do simple stuff such as tailing our application logs. So that's what we are trying to solve. And this package is, con is designed to work with any log driver, including Sentry or Flare. So you don't need a physical file. The second thing that we have, we have worked on is pretty much doing this Seek application UI. As you guys may know, I'm a big fan of pretty console UIs, um, and I had to do this pretty. Uh, that's the reality. I wanted to make this very pretty on the CLI, and I think I have come up with a good result. Um, so yeah. A very cool application UI on the terminal, but also the fact that you can use this package even if you're not using a physical file for your logs. Now, that being said, I'm going to showcase you Laravel Pale on the real application. So what we're going to do now is um, create a fresh project, install Laravel Pale, and then we are going to see some logs on the terminal. And yeah, I see that you guys are following along on the chat here. Uh, just give me some feedback about what you think about the package and um, if you have new ideas, that's the most important thing. So if you have ideas of things you would like to see on this package, just let me know. The first thing we are going to do is type Laravel, new Laravel to pretty much install <clears throat> a fresh Laravel project on my machine. And to do that, I'm gonna just type a lot of L new Laravel and choose um, no starter kit at all because we don't need it. I'm gonna use uh, one of the best testing frameworks in the world, past PHP, and I don't need uh, a GitHub repository. So let's just do that. Exactly, past. I had to choose past, right, for this demo. <laughs> anyway, that being said, uh, we obviously have our fresh Laravel application created. Uh, we can jump into that project. And the first thing we are going to do is install Laravel Pale on this project. Now, because Laravel Pale is not stable yet, I'm going to use this dev main to pretty much use uh, the unstable version of uh, the package. Now, 
I'm just watching the chat. By the way, I'm going to watch the chat all the time. So if you have some real-time feedback you would like to give me, just let me know. And I can see that uh, Mate Ellis, which is a friend of mine, is saying it's important to notice the requirement of the PHP version used by the package. And that's a reality. Uh, this package uses PHP 8.2. So you have to have that PHP version installed. And in addition, you need Laravel 10. So uh, it's the only way I have of having this package installed in your Laravel project. So I'm going to run uh, this command now, which will pretty much install Laravel Pale on this fresh Laravel application. Um, and yeah, let's just start using it. So once you install it through Composer, you can immediately um, start using it. So something I'm going to do here is just I'm going to open this project with Sublime Text. Uh, my favorite editor in the world. And what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to open this routes folder and this web.php file. Let me know about the font, by the way, if you think is the font size is okay or if you prefer something a little bit more bigger like this. But something I'm going to do now is throw an exception here, okay? So obviously, if um, if I open this um, if I open this project uh, on my um, browser here, I can see uh, my project running on Laravel 10.26. But what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to throw an exception within this route. Okay, <coughs> so I'm going to type throw new exception. And I'm going to just say on exception message that I am an exception, okay? And also, in addition, at the same time, I'm going to run PHP Artisan Pale just to see a little bit of the output already. And I can get to see that the output tells me that I'm tailing the application logs, but also that at any time I can type Ctrl-C to exit the terminal. So if I go to my Chrome and I visit this particular route, I expect to see the, the exception on uh, the browser, which I see. But at the same time, on my terminal, I get to also see the exception popping up. Um, so exactly like you would have with the tail command. However, again, you don't need a physical file to actually start to seeing these exceptions on the terminal. Now, there is a couple of things happening on this output that I would like you to pay attention. Uh, some of those changes are, uh, for example, you get to see the time of the exception, which is pretty cool. So you don't lose track, uh, uh, track of the exception on your terminal, but also you get to see the source of the exception, which is the web.php file, the exact file we are working on. In addition, you get to see that the request was a get method on the path root. Um, so if we were, for example, to change this to slash users, and then we were to visit this uh, users route, now you get to see that we are uh, visiting the users path. In addition, the authentication ID is a guest, meaning that this user is not logged at all. Um, so if this was if this were to be a logged user, you would see user ID one and the email of that user as well, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, what do you think? What do you guys think so far? Are you guys enjoying seeing a little bit of Laravel Pale? I'm enjoying you showing to you all. Also enjoying a little bit of this coffee as well. I can see that Shirking is saying that no. Vim. Dude, I would love to see and to use Vim. But the sad reality is that Vim is complicated to learn. You know what I mean? I would love to learn Vim, dude. But it's just so complicated. It requires so many time. I know that Jess Archer have done the Laracast's uh, course on that. And I probably should see it. But it just requires so many time, you know. There is a couple of things about tech that I would love to learn that I simply don't have time at the moment. 
obviously Vim is one of them, but also Regex expressions, okay? So that's our little secret. Don't tell anyone, but I'm just horrible with Regex expressions, okay? Every time I need to do a Regex expression, I used to ask to my friends, how can I just catch this particular element on this string? Give me the Regex expression. Yeah, I also ate Regex, dude. And what is funny is that now with ChatGPT and Go GitHub Copilot, we have all those amazing tools that just pretty much gives us uh, all that stuff for free, uh, which is pretty cool. So I don't know, man. There is stuff on tech that obviously I would like, like to be a little bit better on. Vim is one of them. Okay, Mary is saying it is extremely pretty, but also the separation between the output um, makes it extremely legible, and I really liked easy to see the line and the path. Okay, that's cool. So that's a good feedback. Um, I also think that it's important to have uh, this line separating the output to really see the difference between um, the line logs we are working on. That's also something that I felt that using regular tail wouldn't give to me. Um, I'm a person that have very difficult to see stuff on the terminal when it's not pretty because, I don't know, man, maybe it's a it's an eyes thing that I have, but it's just difficult to me. So I'm happy that you also feel that way, that having this pretty output helps a little bit understanding um understanding the the out the the logs a little bit better <laughs> 